This is Pam Smith with Farm Journal Magazine, and I'm with Ron Sloan. And Ron and I are outside of Stonington, Illinois. And Ron, you had about a thousand acres of smart stacks this year. And I've been here asking you, what did you see, and and how did it how did it uh, fare? And you pulled some ears for me. Yeah. So uh, can you show me what you got, and and explain a little bit about what you've seen this year? Okay, uh, smart stack. I've got three varieties planted and I've been in, all, in about all my cornfields, and just a lot less uh, disease pressure. Uh, especially earworm. Earworms are real bad this year. And as you can see here, there's, uh, there's some smart stack of ears. I can pull a hundred of them, they all been like that. And then this is a triple stack. It's uh, worms been in, birds have opened it up, and it's let the uh, elements uh, come in and we've got corn sprouting, mold started uh, here uh, two, three weeks ahead of harvest. And just every one you pull if we're in, uh, earworm's been in it, it's just opened it up for, for all kinds of, uh, of damages. And then we've got white mold taking place. Uh, that's really not from earworms, but it's, uh, it's just a lot of problems out there in the field this year that uh, uh, caused from, from all the stresses. I think we've been under too much rain, not enough rain, heat, and everything. But the earworm pressure has just been tremendous this year, worst I've ever seen. So you told me these were right across the smart stacks yeah, fields? Yeah, just adjacent to Adjacent. Across, across the and hill. all of this was sp sprayed with fungicide, is yeah, that correct? All these, all these varieties here, everything we're looking at had a headline put on it. Okay. I can't tell you exact date, but it's been about five weeks ago we put it on there. Okay. A so little earlier than normal because corn started pollinating there uh, 20th of June, you know, it was early this year. So it's interesting to me that, uh, you know, we've seen earworm damage, but you're actually saying that the birds came in to pick that worm out yeah. and really frayed the yeah, end they, of that husk. They opened, really opened it up, and, and then with the, if we'd have had uh, more rain than what we've had, we've been a little short on rain here the last three or four weeks. But if we'd have had uh, uh, the amount of rain we was getting prior to, to this earworm damage, uh, we'd have a lot worse problems than what we got. But we have had some dry weather, but we still got a lot of damage uh, damage in this uh, crop here. So obviously, uh, this probably factor into your decision making next year for on variety selection. Yes, yes. Uh, this new new technology they're coming with has got. Uh, uh, it's got a higher price tag, but I think there's lots of advantages uh, when you can have ears like this here and not have the uh, not have the disease pressure. All right. Thanks very much. Thank